Hi guys. Um, so I'm going to do my presentation again on the 1940s, which was a time that um, revolved around World War II and uh, anyways, sorry for my cold. You probably can't hear me very well. But um, a lot happened in the 1940s. Uh, the decade lasted from January 1st, 1940 to December 31st, 1949. And um, things that happened that are very important and um, a lot of people are aware of would be World War, World War II and the Holocaust. A lot happened politically, culturally, technologically, and economically, which had an enormous impact over um, artistic production um, in the time and for the future. Um, first I'm going to go over some of the, uh, each of the contexts and touch base on that, and then I'm going to go and discuss how it affected art and so forth. Um, first of all, politically speaking, World War II, um, lasted the first five years of the decade, and it started when Nazi Germany, which his, their leader was Adolf Hitler, invaded Poland, Denmark, Norway, and the French Third Quarter. Um, this set forth a chain of events that would start, you know, the war for the next five years and then the events after the war. Uh, the U.S. did not enter World War II until um, <clears throat> December 1941 after there was the attack on Pearl Harbor. Uh, the Holocaust was created, and it was a genocide of over 6 million Jews. Um, the Holocaust is a very important topic that's taught in a lot of schools, so I'm sure everyone is a little familiar with the Holocaust. Um, World War II officially ended September 2nd, 1945. Um, and just some important information that pertains to the political aspect just facts are um, the two presidents of the United States during this time were Harry S. Truman and Franklin D. Roosevelt. Um, Auschwitz opened in 1940, which was the largest concentration and death camp that Nazi Germany used. I'm sure um, people are familiar with Auschwitz. During 1942, the Manhattan Project began, and that was a race to create the first atomic bomb against Nazi Germany. Um, and in 1944, D-Day occurred, which was the first day of the Battle of Normandy. In 1945, Korea became divided into the North and South. The Germans surrendered in 1945. Hitler also committed suicide. The United Nations were founded and the United States dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And lastly, Winston Churchill gave his important Iron Curtain, Iron Curtain speech, which is pretty well known as well. So a lot of important political things happened that will have a huge impact on art. As for cultural aspects, there was a lot of change as well that related to the ideas of the arts in the 1940s. There were many classical films that were produced, and a lot of them had war themes. Swing music was popular, as well as Frank Sinatra, which there might be some Frank Sinatra fans in here. Um, as for clothing, floral and geometric patterns, and bikinis were introduced in 1946. For artwork, um, comic books became very popular in the 1940s, and also, that was when Captain America first appeared in comics. So I don't know if anybody, we have any Avenger fans or anything, but um, as for literature, um, in Ernest Hemingway produced some poetry, as well as the book Pippi Longstocking, which people might be familiar with, The Diary of Anne Frank, and an important religious leader that people may be aware of would be Mohandas Gandhi. Also, in the 1940s, the transformation of Las Vegas began. They started building the Flamingo Hotel and Casino. I don't know if anyone's been there. I've been there, and it's a great place to visit. Um, also, Jackie Robinson joined the Do Dodgers, and he was the first African-American to play in the Major League, so that's a very important aspect. 
And as for art, another important thing that could contribute would be that Polaroid cameras were invented in 1948. So that could have helped a lot of people who did artwork and photography. Economically speaking, we were recovering from the Great Depression in the 1930s, so there was a very high unemployment rate in the United States. The national debt was $43 billion, and minimum wage was $0.43 cents an hour, which is crazy to think that people could live off that. And then lastly, the technological context. A lot of war aids were produced during this time frame, such as radar, ballistic missiles, jet aircraft, um, so a lot of things that, you know, could contribute since this uh, war happened for five years during this time period were produced. The Man Manhattan Project was tested, and again, that was an atomic bomb. And then the commercial TV and microwave oven were invented. So in the 1940s, the art that was popular was abstract expressionism. And it birthed many different styles of art. And it, abstract expressionism is very different from what people were used to. It is artists that were famous in this, which people might be aware of this, is uh, Paul Jackson Pollock. Goes by Jackson Pollock. He created a lot of art during that time. And um, this type of style can be also refer referred to as action painting or color field painting. And it became really big after World War II, so during 1945 to 1949. Um, there were artists such as Frida Kahlo, which I did a presentation on not too long ago, and Henry Moore, who was a war artist. The um, style of painting that abstract expressionism is, is dramatic drips, splatters, um, pretty surreal art. A lot of the artists connect their personal feelings to this, and it's very, it's described as very deep. And to understand, you have to connect your personal feeling because everyone could have a different understanding of some of the artwork. They say that a lot of the artist's inspiration came from inner turmoil and anxiety. So during this time frame, a lot of distress came from exposure to the horrors and pains in World War II and the threat of nuclear holocaust coming as the Cold War started to, you know, heat up. So a lot of people were on edge from post-war mood of anxiety and trauma. So a lot of people were just on edge and that's what inspired them. Um... And as I stated, I think I stated before, that this art is shaped by surrealism. So a lot of this does not have, these paintings does not have distinct objects, like, you know, an animal or flowers or something of that sort. It's some, this art you have to kind of look at and have a deeper meaning. And, you know, it takes more in-depth thinking to understand the artwork. Um, so... Abstract Expressionalism can be split into, again, color field and action painting. They're different. Action painting is a freestyle, again, unrecognizable subject that involves brilliant colors, drips of paint, splashes of paint, loose gesture, writing. And then color field is pictures of plain zones of different colors that create tension between the colors, shapes, hues, colors. So again, they're both very abstract. And a color field painter that is important that people might know of would be Mark Rothko. And some important art produced during this time, again, was Jackson Pollock's number one and number five paintings. And I will post pictures of these paintings in the uh, discussion board for you guys to look at. Now, speaking of this art, the frame of art from a contemporary perspective, I don't think that this art is very crazy when you think of it in a different um, mindset. Because contemporary art is what is modern and 
and that could be honestly anything. Now the way art is changing and different mediums and different styles and different inspirations. I mean, I've seen some pretty crazy artwork and so I don't think from a contemporary perspective that um, abstract expression expressionalism would be viewed as um, very different or uh, very surprising. I think it kind of goes hand, hand in hand with contemporary art because you can use your imagination and again with your feelings and spirit, spirituality and uh, art before the 1940s it art was very natural and realistic and produced soft ideas so after the war the turn that art took was again very anxious and expressing people's own personal opinions and feelings so um, I will definitely post some pictures in the discussion board and thank you guys for watching